Hello folks, so I'm going to talk more about hell. Um, touchy subject, but it's important. Eternal, alright, no, I'm going to start with what love is. What, what does a loving person or God do? What would a loving person, what would a loving being do? Okay, a loving being, especially an all-loving being, would always, every single time, show love and do things that are loving. If that being does things that are not loving, they're not an all-loving being. So what, is it, what does it mean to do things every time with love? It means to always do something that is beneficial to the other being that you are interacting with. Whether it be love or tough love, it's because the first being or God or person wants the, the being they're interacting with to be a better person, to, to, to have their wounds healed, to have their suffering end, always. So to inflict suffering, especially eternal suffering, on a being, or allow a being to experience eternal suffering uh, and not stop it, is not love. It's not love, it's not tough love. It's because there's no payoff for the being that is being interacted with. There's no benefit that they're getting. So a loving being would only try to fix and help and, and do positive things and build people up. And, you know, somebody might say God is also a God of wrath and, and, and all that. If someone's to get angry, a God is, if a, hypothetically a God is to get angry, and they're all loving, they would express their pain. Um, if they're vulnerable, I'm not saying I'm not saying that an all loving God couldn't show some tough love, but they wouldn't do it as a lashing out of anger. They would do it to to help people. So now, hypothetically, if a god was to show wrath, um, they would maybe um, maybe um, I'm just trying to think of an example off the fly. So just give me a second. Um, if there was a bully, all right, and they kept picking on people. And then somebody else came along that was bigger than them and and beat them up. Uh, and then the, the first bully learned that being a bully is not good. That's tough love, but it's still love. You see what I mean? Because the bully, the first bully, learned something and became better because of it. So, putting putting another being in hell, if a god did this, what that is, is rejection. And an all-loving being, or even just a loving being, can never commit the act of eternal rejection. Because that's holding a grudge. Alright, so it's... Unconditional love is incompatible with an eternal hell. The only way I can see hell existing is a temporary hell that people choose to go to because they don't want to show any love at all. And if they decide to show love and decide that they want to concentrate on love, 
then they can move up and get out of that place. That's the only type of hell that I can imagine. Because I imagine, you know, here we self-inflict a lot of punishment to ourselves, emotionally, spiritually, and mentally. Uh, and so I can imagine a place where people do that to an even worse degree. But it's to ourselves. And if we decide that that we want to be free of that, we can move up. Um, so I'm not sure. Maybe an eternal hell, ex I mean, a temporary hell exists, but I think it's because people um, are torturing themselves, as opposed to a god uh, sending people to a place they can't get out of to torture them. Love is everything, and an all-loving being always loves and always helps. Alright, see ya.